This video is a practical how-to on using the Wavelink USB 3.0 dual bay docking station. Who wants to look at an unboxing? I want to know how to use the darn thing because instructions are are, are certainly lacking. Um, so here it is. I've put a three terabyte disk into the target slot and now remember to turn the unit on. I was a little bit frustrated but uh, not realizing that there's actually a switch in the back of it. So make sure you turn that switch on and they do say don't uh, wait till the unit powers down before you pull the unit out from its uh, uh, from the bay. So uh, what else? So there's there's the disk. Now now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and clone my C drive which is a uh, one, 105 gig uh, solid state drive. So that's what we're going to get ready to do. Here's that solid state drive. We're going to stick it in the back. I'm paying attention to where the connectors are, making sure that I've got it in the right position. Uh, so there's the uh, source disk which is the 105 gig and there is the uh, target which is where it's going to be copied to which is the three terabyte uh, hard drive. Now this is where the instructions are a little bit lacking. Well how, how do you initiate the transfer? Um, it's got a button on the front and you press it and you see it kind of lighting up but it gives you no instructions so this is kind of a uh, by trial and error, if you will, and I have found that uh, some of these Chinese-made products, they, they really like you to push a sequence of buttons and they just expect you, you're supposed to know what that sequence is. So uh, when in doubt, just uh, press and hold, kind of like an iPhone. So here I'm holding it and I'm watching the blinking lights and there's going to be a point at which the, the speed at which it blinks kind of decreases. And that's when I remove my finger and, and then I hit it one more time and I'm waiting and now I actually see on the left side which is the 25% uh, uh, status bar if you will uh, showing me that that's it's locked in and it's starting to copy 25% of the uh, source disk to the target disk and um, Again, here's the instructions. Uh, they're not going to help you a whole lot with this part of it. So again, I, I looked at some YouTube videos and I couldn't find anything that actually told you how to use the darn thing. Who cares about unboxing? I want to know how to use it. Uh, so what I'm doing here is I'm going to, uh, it, it actually has a, a piece of software. Um, I'm also using disk management. And what I did is I went ahead and I completely copied my, my C drive. Uh, which is a solid state and I didn't want to take it out and stick it in my computer. I actually wanted to confirm that I actually had a copy. So uh, going to the uh, window left corner, right clicking and going to disk management, I went into the disk management tool uh, which is a Windows based piece of software. Quite, You, 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 you really have to become uh, proficient or or, or certainly understand how that program works because it's pretty darn good. Uh, it's free. It's included. And what it does, which is going to get you a little bit confused, it'll take the C drive and it breaks it up into three partitions. There's, there's Windows, the C drive, and then there's this hidden partition. So some of that is going to throw you because once you copy it on the source disk and on the target disk, you're going to see both three on the source and th three partitions on the source and three on the target. Now, since my uh, hard disk is a three terabyte, what it copies, it copies it into MBR, which gives you a maximum of two terabytes. So I had to go back into the program and monkey around with it so, and change from NBR to the larger capacity, uh, what is it, uh, GPT. And so that's what I'm doing. 